What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Um, I appreciate you guys' time as always. So today is um, a great day. We're back out in the shop finally. Got the Fozzie here already set up, ready to go. Um, so today we're going to be installing, yes, by the title and thumbnail, you already know. We got the white line um, bump steer correction kit right here, which is basically um, the ball joints and the tie rod ends. And also we're going to be putting on the STI uh, front control arms. Now, uh, this will be probably a two part, two part setup because we still have got to get these bad boys on. And if you're OGs of the channel, you know I've had these in this box for at least a year and a half now and haven't put them on yet. There's a, I wanted to get this and the control arms and also I wanted to get the fenders and everything rolled so I could do everything all in one sweep, but you know, life and it didn't work out that way and that's why everything's still in a box. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the benefits of putting this stuff on and then we'll jump right into removing everything. All right, so to save you guys a long-winded and kind of choppy explanation of what the benefits are of putting this bump steer correction on, or bump steer correction kit on, um, I'll go ahead and do it now, hopefully in a condensed version. Uh, so bump steer specifically has to do with the suspension travel, you know, goes like this. Whenever your suspension is compressed or the bump, your tires tow in. Whenever your suspension decompresses, like coming off of a bump or it's sitting static on a lift, your toe tends to go out on stock applications. Uh, the bump steer correction kit helps eliminate the movement of your toe in or out, depending on the bump or droop you're going on. Um, some examples would be if you're hitting, if you're on a, a road that's kind of ruddy or pitted, um, if you've ever felt the steering wheel kind of like jerking around a lot, that's your toe in and out going crazy when your wheels are going up, it's, it's doing all this craziness. So, short explanation, bump steer correction kit helps keep your wheels straight regardless of what you're doing and what you're hitting on your terrain. Yeah. Um, and with the control arms, let's say this is your um, strut and everything and your wheel sits down here, um, it's going to push the wheel forward just a little bit um, in the wheel well, giving you better cornering um, and you know correcting kind of the turn in thing. So coupled together with the, where they go? the the coilers and everything, it's its completely, completely going to change the suspension geometry and handling of this vehicle. So, Alright, with the tire off and everything exposed, um, we're going to go ahead and start simple. We're going to go ahead and break loose the end links right here, the sway bar end links that connect to the um, stock control arm here. We're going to go ahead and hit the tire rod in, get this nut loose, and um, this uh, broken free just a little bit as well as the ball joint nut on the bottom go ahead and get that broke free uh, then we're going to move back here where the uh, control arm links up to the frame we got one uh, 17 mil nut and bolt right here and a 19 mil on the back side For this uh, big boy back here, this 19 mil, definitely gonna have to have a breaker bar for that one as it's probably never been out of the car and it's gonna be hella tight. So, um, I don't have a breaker bar long enough, but I do have a, an extension, you know, pipe piece to get a little bit more leverage.
him support down. Oh, we got a little movement. Oh, that's tight. I think we got lucky, ladies and gentlemen. I think we got lucky. Yeah, that's starting to move easy. Oh, that makes me so happy. You guys don't even know. Unless you've done this before, you don't even know. That's so good. And there we have it. All right, here's the little side-by-side. -side. Here's the stock Forrester XT. Here's the... Um, STI one I'm gonna be sticking in. Uh, I got lucky, I got it off eBay and it came with the anti-lift kit bush already on it. However, this bushing looks quite grungy and well used past its prime. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull what came off. Um, go ahead and stick it on here. Uh, at any rate, I'm gonna be having to pull this back apart in the near future to go ahead and replace the bushing in here, as well as this rear one here. Um, but that will have to be another video because I am uh, tired of waiting, I'm impatient, and I wanna get this in. So let's do that. Um, one other thing to note when you're doing this swap here, you're definitely gonna have to get this little cone that sits in the front of the control arm for uh, the STI one. I'll go ahead and link all these, or I'll link the part number for this control arm as well as the part number for the cone um, and the uh, nuts here that go on the end. I got new nuts just to be on the safe side, like everything to look spiffy. So, all right, something else to note if you're doing the swap, this is the stock XT arm. Obviously, um, this rear washer right here is welded onto the control arm, it comes as one unit. So if you're doing the swap, make sure you pick up this rear washer for the STI. Um, this one comes off, obviously. Um, so yeah, make sure you have that, otherwise you're gonna be kind of SOL. So I've gotten the bush off and cleaned up. It looks much nicer. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything situated and then we're ready for install. Exciting. Another tip, if you guys are gonna be doing this, where the ball joint sits into this knuckle, you're definitely gonna to wanna to take and get a wire brush wheel like this or something similar, attach it to a drill, and go ahead and clean out this area because it is insanely corroded and your new ball joint from White Line uh, may not fit. It's already supposed to be a really, really snug fit. I've seen uh, some people take and remove the powder coat from the ball joint a little bit, but go ahead and clean out this space. And before we put it in, we'll put a little bit of grease on it and it should have no problem sliding in where it needs to be at. So we got the ball joint in, uh, kind of you know as straight as we could get it by hand, um, where you know enough where it kind of pinches in there a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna leave the castle nut down just enough so when I'm tapping on this with a hammer, that it doesn't flare out the threads at all.
Y'all, this looks so much better aesthetically, you know, and it's going to handle so much better as well. So I've gotten everything tightened down and torqued, you know, this here, the end links right here. Um, I can't torque or tighten these down until I get the other side done because I have to put this brace up. So um, I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up on a quick time lapse, knock out the other side real fast, and then um, we will work on the tie rod ends. All right, you guys, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on tie rods. Two reasons. One, I just realized that it's 1 a.m. and I have an early morning. Um, also, my wife's probably extremely upset because I'm not up helping with the baby. Shame on me. But uh, there is a locking nut here. You loosen this locking nut and then you simply thread off your old tie rod. Now, um, it's important to count how many revolutions you come off. So this one came off 17. Um, but I only put it back on 15 because it's just a little bit longer than stock, which doesn't really matter. Putting it back on doesn't really matter. Um, this is going to need an alignment for sure after all this is on there. But again, loosen this locking nut, thread the old tie rod off, thread the new tie rod on. Pretty simple. Ugh. Outside of that, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it. Um, Next video coming up will be putting on the coilovers and then getting it um, all aligned and true and all that stuff like that. And then she is ready to smash some corners. Anyway, drop a thumbs up if you liked it. Go ahead and tag the subscription button if you have not already. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Finishing up the Forester suspension. Laters.